So I'm with Adam Hewitt, Applied Sports Scientist here at UniSA, the City East Campus. And uh, Adam, we've developed a good partnership with UniSA, the Port Adelaide Football Club. Yeah, it's been great. We've um, Over the last few years, we've had um, quite a few students that have come down and, and got some really valuable experience um, hands-on working with, with Cam and the rest of the fitness department down at Port Adelaide. Mate, explain what's going on today. Uh, obviously, there's VO2 testing, so we see this big treadmill, we see all sorts of um, wires and tubes and sorts of things coming out of the players. I mean, in layman's terms, what's going on? Yeah, it looks impressive. Um, basically, what we're, what we're trying to do is, um, is really measure their, their true aerobic power so which um, hopefully that data will be able to use by, by Cam and, and the rest of the fitness department to, to really tailor the, the running speeds and their, um, and their fitness programs for each, for each individual. So um, the players will, will run uh, probably for about 25, 30 minutes on the treadmill and we'll get uh, a true VO2 max and also some lactate threshold data as well. We've already seen a couple of players doing it, Matthew Broadbent and also Mitchell Banner, and they look like they really were sweating and struggling. I mean, how difficult is it? I mean, give us an idea of how, how much they're going through doing this. Well, I guess that's why it's called a maximal test. Um, you know, it, it is to try and run until you cannot pick your feet up anymore. Um, the, the guys use a, an RPE scale, so a perceived exertion on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 is basically, I cannot run anymore. So we would expect them to be at least at a 10 at the end of each session. We've got heart rates um, up over 200. So yeah, they're really working hard. It's for a short period of time, but the data that we get is, is really valuable. Brilliant, Adam. So Adam Hewitt, Applied Sports Scientist here at UniSA. We know Hamish Hartland is currently doing one, so we'll look forward to speaking to him soon after his VO2 testing.